And I do not accept it as a given that I did shoot the bee. There are plenty of guns going off. I heard the rifle, and I felt the ball. You missed your shot, Cogburn. That's it. my shot! How's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into another Legends of the West video. And a reminder that, until further notice, I am still not taking requests until I burn through the majority of the list. I'm hoping if I say that in enough videos, people will stop just requesting things because they can. That all said, today we're doing Rooster Cogburn from the 2010 remake of True Grit. And while it's not the Duke that everyone was hoping for, it's not John Wayne, to be fair, this was requested before that one, so I did this one. <laughs> My apologies for that, guys, but bear in mind for when we do start taking requests again, as I think I pretty much have it down how I'm going to start doing it. That all said, let's get down to the outfit, Sally. Yeah, shall we? Oof, damn, managed to go a whole episode without doing that, and I still did it this one. Starting off with the hat. Variety of options available to me. I honestly ended up settling on the Warren Gambler's hat just for the simple fact that it does kind of come in the color schemes I want. That said, another viable option is the Big Valley hat if you feel so desired, as it actually does come in the color I need exactly, in the various tones of browns that I need. I'd say this one, settle on. That said, I kind of went with something a little different. I came up with that on the fly literally as I finished up the outfit and thought, hey, you know what, the Big Valley hat would actually work wonders. Instead, I went with the Warren Gambler's hat again, just for the simple fact that his hat is beating the crap out of, oh god is it. Now his doesn't actually have a band on it, but this does hit the color damn near perfectly. And again, for those that see it a little differently, remember it a little differently, or their monitors are like slightly askewed in color or something. I do have a variety of options for this because it does come in a variety of colors. Darker brown, lighter brown, as long as it's kind of like a deeper brown, you're good. Not one of these paler SOBs, actually that one almost works too, but I wanted to match the band. And definitely not any of the blacks. Yeah. Moving on. For coats, I honestly just busted out the duster coat, just because it's the only one long enough to really sell the look. Now. His is eh, interesting because it's a really kind of darker gray. So the gray that I'm given here doesn't really work. This one in purple though, oddly enough, in most light does work. Because it just looks like a more faded black, which goes a little closer to the gray I'm shooting for. Failing that, there's always black. <laughs> I said I like mixing the outfit up a little bit, especially as we go down the line to the vest. Now, actually, he doesn't wear a vest, I believe, in most of the scenes. In fact, that's actually another coat under that. Which really threw me off when I figured that out and saw it. So I had to go with something that looked like just a coat under there. And the classic vest in black actually suited the purpose perfectly, especially with those little lapels on it. Freaking dandy. For shirts, again, this is one of those things people are going to see a little differently no matter who watches it. When I see it, I see it as like a kind of gray that's like more into the side of brown for some reason. But that's why I chose this collar over shirt, because it actually has two different variations I could go with. This first one that's kind of just a darker brown, and this one that's more in the gray area. For pants, I busted out the work pants, which actually came in the dark brown I needed. Thank you, God, for small favors. Actually, the black almost works too, just because of all the roughing on it, just makes it look browner. Hmm. Interesting. Suspenders, we're not really gonna see them, not gonna worry. Chaps, nah. For boots, this is the first time I actually broke these out. I went with the cavalry boots, because I believe his has this weird lip right on the front of it by the knee. And oddly enough, I was surprised to find that there was actually a good fit for that in this game. One that I just never used. No spurs. Also make sure to tuck your pants into your boots on this outfit. No mask, no bandanas. Neckwear gets kind of interesting, because he does wear a kind of higher neckerchief, and it's blue. And it is blue. 
I swear to God, it's blue. I, I will throw screenshots out. In fact, let, let's throw one up right now. Yeah, see that? Blue. Okay, throw that way. Thank you. Thank you, Grim. So for the first time in any outfit, I, I honestly have seen even on YouTube, granted I didn't look through too many, I actually busted out the ascot tie for this. Because it's that nice, nice dark blue I really wanted. Of course, you can always just go with the black neckerchief. Either or. No gloves, weapon equipment, his is that nice tan kind of rose off color. So kind of depends on what you have unlocked. Arthur's gun stuff usually will sell the point off though. Actually looking at his nice sheath is like a perfect match for what the gun belt should be. Now I see it in the mirror there. Now we dipped. But anyway, that's it for this video. And as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, hey, great way of showing your support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and by all means checking down the request down below in the description as I try to catch my breath, holy crap, my throat, <laughs> and see what's going to be coming down the line. That all said, another fun way to support the channel is just by sharing it with your friends, your family, your co-workers, share it with the world, share it on social media, just blow up the channel by all means. Please? <laughs> okay. I'm done embarrassing myself. Thank you all for watching. Let's roll the clip for what's coming up next, huh? Do not misjudge me.